topic is something that I've had on my mind a lot. And like most of my videos, they come as a result of conversations I've had with friends and stuff. But I wanted to share a few tips on how you can strengthen your marriage and just ways that you can appreciate your relationship a little more. Because if you've been married for any amount of time or you've been in a relationship for several years, you know that this is work. It's not something that just happens, that you're just happy and lovey-dovey. The years and just life can get a hold of your relationship and start making you doubt things or just have you kind of in a love rut. So today I just wanna share a few things as a reminder to myself as well on how we can strengthen our relationships. So my first tip is remembering the good times. My husband and I have a tradition every year on our anniversary, we watch our wedding video and that always brings back these like sweet memories of when we first met and when everything was all blissful and it was just about me and him. And um, maybe you can look over old pictures, um, old vacations that you went on and just remember that fire and that passion that you once had or that love and fun that you used to have and there's no reason why if you had it before you can't have it again. One of the most beautiful things that I will always treasure and my husband deserves like a thousand points for this is this book that he made and in this book he literally has every text message, email, um, picture that we ever sent each other. Here's a beautiful picture of us in, in the beach um, in San Diego and just every letter, he actually photocopied, this is one that I mailed to him because we were actually long distance for almost our whole engagement. Every time I pick up this book, it brings me those warm fuzzies. So remembering the, the old times and just the beginning of your relationship can always bring back that magic moment. Number two, do not compare yourself to other relationships. I talked about this in my mom guilt video about how detrimental comparing yourself is and relationships is no different. A lot of times, the things that you see publicly in other people, that wife may have complaints that you don't have about your husband. So maybe that husband is super loving and always compliments her in public and says how beautiful she is, but he doesn't help around the house. He never helps with the kids, but your husband does but he doesn't compliment you and tell you you're beautiful. You see what I'm saying? So we cannot compare ourselves to other couples and other relationships because number one, we don't know what happens behind closed doors. And number two, there are no perfect husbands. We're not perfect ourselves, so we can't expect our husbands to be like these perfect robots of everything we want them to be because I'm sure if they could sit there and make a list, maybe we have a lot of things too that are lacking in their eyes. We just focus in on it much. So we're always looking around and comparing, but men just aren't like that. So stop comparing yourself to other couples and see the good in what your husband does have and choose to focus on that rather than the bad. And remember, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Okay, the third one is choosing your battles. You guys, this one is so important. I'm gonna tell you a little family secret. My husband does not put the toilet seat down. Does it annoy me? Yes. Do I think it's disgusting? Yes. Have I sat on the toilet in the middle of the night and the toilet seat was up and I sat on that cold, nasty rim? Yes. But you know what? This is one of the battles that I'm choosing not to fight over. Um, I have mentioned to my husband in the past to put the toilet seat down, but you know what? This is who he is naturally. If he was home alone, he would leave it up. He's just... That's who, that's what he, that's what he does. And I feel like it's his home and that's how he kind of like goes with the flow naturally in his bathroom. So I don't want to have to be annoyed every time I walk into the bathroom and see that toilet seat up. If I chose to focus on it, it would drive me insane. So I have just let that go. That's one that I will just let slide. I'm not going to drive myself crazy because if I didn't let it slide, I would seriously be miserable every time I walked into that bathroom and I would just be frustrated and think like, haven't I told this man a thousand times to put the toilet seat down? So you know what? I'm letting that one go. We all need to do that in our relationships. Just let things go and really choose your battles. Let that toilet seat stay up. So number four, and last but not least, is making time for each other. This sounds so obvious that, you know, to strengthen your relationship, yeah, you gotta make time for each other, but it is so crazy how in a marriage with kids or just both of you in school, working, how sometimes that can be a challenge to actually make time for each other. Make those moments where you have alone time, intimate times, you really have to plan these things out 
I remember laughing at one of my friends because she told me that her and her husband schedule their alone time together and I thought, how ridiculous is that? What do you mean you schedule your alone time? I'm trying to keep this PG-13, so read between the lines there. But you know what, that week, I had no alone time with my husband and I thought, dang, maybe if I would have scheduled it, it would have happened. So my friend, who I laughed at for planning um, and putting it in their calendar, calendar probably had uh, more loving than I had that week. So it is funny, but we do have to make the time. If you fail to plan, plan to fail. So if you do not make specific plans to date, to do fun things together, to have alone time, then it's not gonna happen. So those are just four little tips that I wanna share with you guys. I wanna hear from you. Out of the four things that I mentioned, what are some things that you feel you need to work on? What are some things that maybe you're caught up on and it's not allowing you to see the beauty of your own relationship? All right, leave your comments and like this video if you enjoyed this conversation. It Bye. Takes more than